So my lesson today is the faces of Easter. Um, when you think of Easter, what kind of feelings do you have? Happy, definitely happy. Do you guys still get Easter baskets on Easter? Aw, that's exciting. My kids are always happy when they got up and they got to look for their Easter baskets. Well, today's little children's sermon, I'm going to talk about the feelings that Jesus' friends had on today, had today, many years ago. And I'm going to need your help on this one. I hope you don't mind. Um, I did this, just a couple of some cutouts. We got a happy face. We got a surprise face. And we got a sad face. An angry face. And a afraid face. Did you guys ever have feelings like some of those at different times? Definitely. Do you ever try to hide your feelings so nobody else knew what you were feeling? Sometimes. I do that too. I might be angry about something, but I hide my feelings so nobody knows. But today, we're going to show our feelings with our little faces there. Um, I was going to have you stand up and hold them so the congregation could see them. Do you guys mind? Do you want to stand up? <laughs> Turn around. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to read a story about today and how Jesus' friends were having different feelings. And I'm going to pause through the story, and if you can pick out one of the feelings that I'm describing, we'll see if we can see all the different feelings they went through this day a long time ago. <clears throat> it was early in the morning of the first day of the week when some women went to visit the tomb where their friend Jesus had been buried. He had been crucified and died on a cross. Definitely, his friends were feeling sad. These ladies were sad. <clears throat> he was buried in a borrowed tomb, and the women were going to put spices on his body. How would they be feeling about going to the tomb and finding him dead in the tomb? Well, they knew he was had passed, so definitely afraid and still sad again. Might even be angry for how everything happened and transpired. When they arrived at the tomb, the women discovered that the stone that covered the entrance had been rolled away. What kind of feeling do you think they had in the stone? Definitely a surprise. When they looked inside the tomb, they had the biggest surprise of all. The tomb was empty. They thought someone had stolen Jesus' body. Afraid? Sure. Surprised? They'd be having lots of different feelings going on. Suddenly, two men in bright, shining clothes came and stood beside the women. In their fright, they bowed down with their faces to the ground. So they had these strange men there. I'd be afraid, too. I'd be like, what's going on? The men spoke to the women and said, Jesus is not here. He has risen. Do you remember what he told you when he was in Galilee? So they told him he had risen. He's alive. Surprised? Happy? Sure. Then the women remembered that Jesus had told them that they were no, that Jesus had told them that and they were no longer afraid. Their fear turned to happiness, and they went back and told Jesus' disciples that they had seen what they had seen, and Jesus had risen, just as he had told them he would. What a happy day! So now all of his friends are what? Definitely happy, just like we are today. You, I, everybody here, oops, we all have that feeling of being happy today because Jesus lives. But we're also happy because the Bible tells us that whoever believes in him will not perish, but will have everlasting life. Now, isn't that something to be happy about? Yeah. Amen. So, let's say a little prayer. Thank you guys for being my helpers. <laughs> Dear Father, we're happy today because Jesus rose from the grave and lives forever. We're also happy because we know that those who believe in him will also have everlasting life. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. amen.